molecules. Okay. Now let us talk about another important concept. It is called isotype, allotype, and idiotypic determinants that are present onto the a surface or onto the surface of amino globulins because they are proteins. Now we have talked about constant region, heavy chain, and uh, the light, light chain, constant region, and all these things. Now isotypic determinant or isotypic determinant is something which is found to be common in a whole species. For example, if you look for a whole human, all the immunoglobulins of all human beings should carry a particular type of se sequence similarity. And what is that? Now, if we look at here, if we look in this picture, what we can see, this, this uh, light blue color and this uh, dark blue color, both these segments are of the heavy chain constant region, right? So, heavy chain constant region. So, CH, both this case, CH. And this light color region is a light, light, constant region of the light chain, right? So we will always be talking about constant region of light chain and constant region of heavy chain, not about the variable region. Now remember in this case, what we can see in this, if you take mouse for example, two mouse immunoglobulin inside single mouse, suppose we take a mouse and we took two immunoglobulin of the same mouse, what we get is that one uh, of the immunoglobulin is having a Two of both of the immunoglobulins are having variable regions in this constant segment because they are having some variations in their amino acid sequences. But they are similar, they are having similar kind of constant region of the light chain. So this part is called the is isotypic determinant. Now if you take a same type or same species of animal like this mouse, you must find this similarity between all the immunoglobulins of the all uh, members of, of this particular uh, species. So that's called the isot isotypic determinants. For example, if you take a human being, you can have variations in this uh, CH region, but you should not have any variation in this CL region most of the cases due to this kind of similarity among them because they are very, very much closely related. Now, for example, if we look, uh, look about uh, this allotypic determinants, in this allotypic determinants, what we get, we can get variations. Now, in this allotypic determinants, we should get variations between you and me. For example, if we take, a, so in, the, in this case, we take a broad area, which is a whole species. So all human beings are having the same kind. In case of this allotypic determinants, it's, it's much more related. Now what we can get this, this allotypic determinant is that this is much more related to genetic arrangement. Now as the genetic makeup of you, uh, you is different than the genetic makeup of me, we will be having variations in our immunoglobulins. So suppose if you take a same species, organism of the same species, one is you, another one is me. If we check both the immunoglobulins, this is for you and this is for me, what we get, we get variations in the CH region which is a constant heavy as well as the constant light. Both this case we are having variations because we are having different genetic makeup. Now if we are having, if we are a uh, uh, twin, then if we compare this immunoglobulins of a two twin, then you shouldn't have this kind of differences, but otherwise most of the cases you should have this kind of differences. These are called allotypes. That means uh, we both are, both are human being, but you are having different than me. And the third kind is called the yeah, idiotypic determinants. Now what do you mean by idiotypic determinants? It is a type of determinants which is the only thing which is designated by the variable region of constant and light, both this case. So variable region. If you are having varying in the variable region, then we end up with different things. So this variable region is varied from all the immunoglobulins that we are getting. So inside your body now, in the very beginning of isotypic determinants, we talk about a species and we found similarity in the members of species. For allotypic determinants, we found similarity among in our in my body. For example, we are having differences in your and my uh, immunoglobulin. But if we take all of my immunoglobulin and check for allotypic determinants, all the allotypic determinants in my immunoglobulin are same. They will be same. But if we take immune idiotypic determinants, we will find different type of idiotypic determinants in all the different type of immunoglobulins that I am possessing. So, or you are possessing. So, you take only me or myself. Now, you check all the immunoglobulins. One is, uh, so this is the M1 or uh, immunoglobulin 1 for me. And this is the second immunoglobulin for me. If we check both of them, they will be having variations in their idiotypic determinants. Because the idiotypic determinants are considered to be present in this FAB region or the variable region. As they present in the variable region, they will be varying inside the same organism, like inside me or inside you. If you take your immunoglobulins and compare them, you will have different type of idiotypic determinants, right? 
So these are the three different models of isotopic, allotypic, and idiotypic determinants. Here are another mode of example. So you can see both this case we are having the variations in this uh, FC portions, but we are having similarities in this uh, constant region of uh, the light chain. So this is called immunoglobulins because we are having similarities in the whole species members, members of all the species. So all human beings are having this kind of similarity. Immunoglobulins of allotypes. Now if you look for allotypes, what we get, we are getting variations among uh, you and me. So if you take uh, immunoglobulin for you, it will be different. Then we take immunoglobulin for me. For the third kind, which is the idiotypic, what we get is that if we take the immunoglobulin of, from my cell only, then uh, all these immunoglobulins will be different inside my own body also. They are idiotypic. So they are much more versatile. So as we are growing from uh, isotypic to allotypic, then finally allotypic to idiotypic, we are going toward much more specificity. Right? Much more specificity. So this is the actual concept.